Hey guys and welcome back to Stupid Science YouTube channel. My name is Leonid and today we will proceed into creating a beautiful visualization with GG Power package. And let's check what uh, is today on the table. Uh, today we will look uh, on uh, what pie chart is. Uh, I will show you how to calculate a percent of total per group using Deeplure package. I will show you how to uh, prepare basic pie chart just uh, in the second. Uh, we will learn how to uh, change the fill uh, color uh, per group of variables. We will learn how to change the label uh, position for our pie chart. And uh, at the end uh, I will introduce to you gg arrange function and uh, we will learn how we can easily just in a second uh, plot multiple uh, plots on one chart. So let's uh, proceed to our first point and uh, let's look uh, what pie chart is. So extensively used uh, in presentations and offices, pie charts help show uh, proportions and uh, percentages between uh, categories by dividing a circle into uh, proportional segments. Each arc length represents a proportion of each uh, category, while the full circle represents the total sum of all the data equal to 100%. Pie charts are ideal for giving the reader a quick idea of proportional distribution of the data. However, the major downsides to pie charts are they cannot show more than a few values, because as the number of values uh, shown increases, the size of each segment slice becomes smaller. This makes them unsuitable for large amounts of data, especially in a case when uh, we have a lot of uh, categories. They take up more space than the alternatives, like a stacked bar chart, for example mainly due to their size and uh, for the usual need uh, for a legend. They are not great for making accurate uh, comparison between groups of pie charts, this being that it is harder to distinguish the size of items via area when it is for length. Uh, for this case, we can use labels with uh, exact proportions of our pie chart and in today's tutorial, I will show you how to do this. So let's jump straight into implementation phase and uh, let's build our pie chart. Uh, we will start in our studio uh, as usual. Uh, today I will not proceed uh, along uh, with coding, just because I, I want to make this tutorial more engaging and more dynamic. But as usual, if you don't like this approach, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. So let's start. And today we will use uh, the same dataset as last time. This is a uh, console games dataset. Let's load the data using read CSV function. And let's uh, examine our dataset uh, using uh, head function as usual. So what we have there? There we have a uh, name of the game, uh, platform and uh, year where uh, this game was released, games genre, publisher, amount of sales in million dollars uh, across uh, major regions. So uh, what are our question today? Uh, today we want to compare global sales for top three uh, consoles of most recent console generation. So uh, we will have uh, three uh, console generations, 8th, 7th and 6th, uh, with the next uh, consoles in them. So respectively uh, for 8 it will be Xbox One, uh, PlayStation 4 and Wii U. For 7th it will be uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and Wii. And for 6th uh, generation we will look at sales uh, of PlayStation 2. GameCube and Xbox. 
So what uh, we need to do to uh, perform this kind of analysis? First of all, we need to uh, calculate global sales as uh, we don't have them in uh, our data set. Uh, to do it, uh, we will use uh, dplure uh, package and uh, mutate uh, function from it. So we will take uh, our data set and pipe it to mutate function where we will just uh, create a new variable uh, global sales and where we will uh, define how this variable would be calculated as easy as that we will uh, just take some of sales uh, from north america europe japan and other countries next uh, in order to save some time and this is uh, also a good practice um, which will remain your code neater uh, we will s select uh, the variables which we will need uh, to use in order to uh, solve uh, today's challenge we will uh, need to use just uh, two variables uh, platform and game sales what we will do we will just uh, leave in our uh, dataset these uh, two variables here we go. What we need to do next is we need to uh, create data frame for each uh, console generation and uh, we need to filter our main data set by consoles which uh, correspond for each console generation. So let's proceed and I will explain the, what we are doing here and the code on the sixth generation console example. So we will take whole our data frame as uh, you can see now, it, it looks like this, uh, just a, a platform and uh, a global sale. And uh, we will filter uh, our data frame by platform. So, for example, for uh, six generation, we will leave only consoles uh, which is related to this uh, six generation. So, in our case, it will be uh, PlayStation 2, GameCube and Xbox. So, we just pass our main data set we we pipe it using dblur uh, pipe function and uh, then um, we use a filter function where we specify that we want to see only platforms which uh, fall in next vector so uh, there is just a, a, a vector representation you can execute it and uh, you will see that uh, it is indeed only those names in it and uh, we will filter our data frame by this vector and uh, we will do exactly the same for uh, all other uh, console generations uh, so it will be the same for seventh and it, it will be the same for eight just uh, with respect for other uh, consoles which are representing next generation so let's do it and uh, now we have three additional data frames. What uh, we are going uh, to do now, we are going to calculate total sales per, uh, per console and percent of total sales per console. What uh, we need to do there is uh, we need to take our each new data frame, uh, which represents consoles generation. For example, let's open six generation and there we will see that uh, we have uh, just a list of records where for each uh, platform stated amount of global sales of course we dropped other variables so now our data set looking like this what we need to do there we need uh, to group data frame by platform if you familiar with sql this is a typical approach how you calculate those things there so let's proceed uh, to it but uh, now we will use uh, as usually deep blur package so we will take for example i will explain this into details uh, using uh, six uh, generation consoles data frame but for others it will be exactly the same so what we are doing here we are taking uh, our data frame passing it using pipe function to group by function we are uh, grouping our data frame by platform as we already discussed then we summarizing all the global sales respectively to each kind of uh, grouped uh, platform 
uh, then we are creating a new variable because we also want to know what uh, uh, percent of total sales in all this data frame corresponds with a particular console. Here we are just uh, dividing global sales which corresponds for each platform by sum of all global sales. But uh, what we are doing here as well in order to represent our information more accurate uh, we are also rounding our numbers and uh, we are adding a percent sign to the end of it. So let's perform our calculations and let's see what we have there. So let's open now our new uh, six generation data frame. And uh, as you can see, now we have the global sales in million uh, per each platform and a percent of all these global sales per console. Now that uh, we have our data prepared we, we can proceed to creating our beautiful pie charts so first of all, of all we will create a basic pie chart in order to do so we will need to use ggpy function we will need to specify which data frame we will use in our case it will be a six generation console data frame then we need to specify how our categories uh, how our arc length uh, to be exactly would be uh, calculated in this case it will be calculated uh, by using global sales variable and then if we want to specify and display our label as a percent of sales we will use uh, label uh, parameter and pass the uh, percent variable so let's do it and uh, let's check what we have we are having a nice pie chart but this pie chart uh, doesn't give us uh, all uh, the information which we want to retrieve for, from it uh, uh, as you can agree it will be more convenient if we can color these slices separately so in order uh, to do so we will just uh, use fill argument and uh, we'll pass that we want to fill our pie chart by platform and then as uh, as always as before we will use pulp river package and uh, we'll use uh, set number two from this palette let's see what we'll have okay now we have the legend which has specify what kind of consoles we have there and uh, now we can easily retrieve the information from our visualization in order to make it look even better we can change the color of these lines i think uh, the best way to represent this kind of information is to uh, color these lines to white color let's see uh, what we'll have okay so now it looks even better but if uh, we are going to present this type of plot in big presentation uh, this is not really uh, convenient when labels uh, are, are shown outside the pie chart especially in this case we when we don't have a lot of uh, categories so in order to adjust this we will use a position argument which is uh, i will available in ggpy function and uh, after that we will uh, color our labels in white color as uh, as you see from there so let's do this and now we can more easily retrieve information from this visualization the last thing which uh, i want to show you i want to introduce you gg arrange function actually to this function i will uh, dedicate the whole tutorial maybe even two because uh, you can create really awesome things with uh, that uh, you can uh, create some complicated dashboards with the text you can uh, group uh, your plots in many kind of ways and uh, you can put uh, your visualization in a really next level but just for now as a kind of teaser i will show you how to how to uh, uh, group uh, our free with 
visualization on the same plot. So uh, we will use uh, almost uh, the same code, but uh, for uh, for our other uh, console generations, we will create we will create a plot for each of them, and uh, uh, then in order to combine all all these uh, plots in uh, uh, one chart, we will just need to call gg arrange function and specify how what we want to plot and how we want to arrange this of course uh, we will go deeper in the our next tutorials uh, which uh, will be dedicated to gg arrange function specifically but uh, just for now we will uh, create this kind of visualization and uh, as you can see from it uh, now we see how uh, sales proportions changed over a console generations so for example in the sixth generation uh, playstation 2 and sony just uh, dominated over other ones for uh, seventh platform generation uh, xbox 360 and uh, we really stepped in and uh, uh, just uh, uh, stole some uh, kind of market shares from uh, from sony but uh, after uh, Sony strikes back uh, with PlayStation 4 and now uh, sales distributions are looking like that. Sony just grabbed more than half of the market. So uh, this is uh, the end of our tutorial. I, I hope that you enjoyed uh, uh, it guys a lot. Always feel free to share any kind of feedback. Feel free uh, if you are interested in uh, our other videos which we are releasing every week just hit this bell notification on the top right corner and you will stay up to date uh, with our recent videos uh, so on this note uh, i just want to uh, say thanks to you guys again and see you soon